precisely on this magic fun house. Have you considered that maybe your parents might be dead? I mean, if these people knew the entire time and didn't tell me, then I'd uh, probably kill myself. There's something we've all been hiding from you, but I think it's time you found out. Whoa. Hey, what are Arlo's parents' death certificates doing here? You weren't thinking of giving them to him, were you? No, of course not. Don't you lie to me, Dave. I now know there's nothing you could do that could betray my trust. Well, I can think of one thing. He and I go way back, Your Honor, further than anyone here. I knew this man-child back when he was a child-child. I always had dreams of being a singer since I was a little starlet. I'm on my way to Hollywood. He may be an asshole, but that day, he was my asshole. Thank you, my hero. I'm Arlo, Arlo Dippin. Sasha. Sasha Barbican. Thank you so much. The food was delicious. Oh, f you. She microwaved it. Because you haven't fixed the goddamn oven. I'm so I'm gonna sick kill you, you, bitch. I'm gonna shut your goddamn microwave. I'm sorry that my mom and dad had too much juice today and became expressive. Thank you for rescuing me from my two bed situations today. You can count on me, Sasha. Wherever you go, just call for me and I'll be there to help you. That's a That's promise. A promise. You're up early, Sasha. Early to bed, early to rise. Makes a woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. See you later, Mr. Cromwell. <laughs> right, Hooker. Heffin's selling sex in jail. You're under arrest. Uh, get your hands off me, pigs! I'm Sasha Barbican! Um, everyone has a tiny computer now. Uh, kale was invented. And men are doing these baby ponytails that look like little chodes. I'm sorry I haven't visited. I didn't know you were dead until yesterday, so I brought you enough flowers to make up for it. I host a children's TV show now, but I work with certain people who aren't very honest with me. And I'm going to make them pay for what they've done. I swear. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Arlo. There's something different about you today. Oh, 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 I sure do feel different, Jimmy. Places, everyone! And we're live in five, four, three, two. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Magic Funhouse is on. Shut the f up. Yo, yo, shut the f up. This is that retard I was telling you guys about. Oh, comatose? I could really use some toast. How are you today, Mom? Shut up. Today, we're going to learn about a little thing called death. He's going off script. He never goes off script. I'm scared. Sometimes we see it coming, the death of a loved one. And other times it sneaks right up on us and bites us. And other times we have to find out by reading one of these. Sometimes your closest friends hold a deep, dark secret from you so they could keep taking your money. Life just goes downhill from here, kids, because adulthood is a bitch! <laughs> He didn't learn that language from me. I'm sure he didn't. You should all just kill yourselves while you're still ahead. I want to go home. F you and f your home. This show has no more meaning to me, boys and girls. And today, I'm not just getting Magic Funhouse canceled. I'm making sure we're banned from the airwaves. F you. Go cut the commercial now. Right away, sir. Oh, we're not cutting to anything, Leslie. Ah! So that's where my gun went. You know, on second thought, Let's see where this goes, baby. Arlo, what are you doing? I trusted you, Manjusha. I trusted all of you. And you made me look like a complete fool this entire time. You think I enjoy doing this stupid kid show? I enjoyed the f***ing, the f 
15 kids, though. You're all fired, and I'm gonna make sure none of you have a show to come back to. For those of you watching at home, it's been a silly time. I'm Mr. Marble signing off. This whole thing was a lie. <laughs> I'm way too high for this. I should have seen this coming from all of you, but you, Sasha, I never expected this from you. Oh, and Dave would totally fire you too, except you were never an employee here to begin with. Hope you're not still holding your breath for that paycheck. What? Oh, by the way, good luck with your stupid fucking TV career. I called the three companies that own every TV station within 300 miles and made sure they heard about your first day here where you caused my set to fall on me or Sasha's hair to get stuck in the fan or dildos to rain on children. Not very many people get their name on the blacklist, but I made sure yours is at the top of it. Why, why would you do that to me? You know what this job means to me and I'm uh, starving! I'm out of this circle jerk fuck faces! It hasn't been fun! It hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't been fun. Well, this is awkward. Someone should go after him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was all live, so I'm assuming we're canceled. <laughs> of course we're canceled. You think the FCC is gonna let me keep my broadcast permit after that study just pulled? This show is over, and thank God, too. What? Right? I hated this goddamn show. The only reason I haven't killed myself yet is because I couldn't find this. But now that Arlo's gone, I have reason to live again. Oh, look at day. <laughs> we can still save the show, though, right? Are you deaf? I just said we're banned from the airway. True, but... Arlo only created the show. You own the rights. What if we adapted it? It's one of the few things we're good at. On what platform? I don't know. We could make it a web series? Please, we want to be taken seriously. We would have to turn this show into a live performance. Uh, nobody would come here just to see some bad acting. <laughs> what if we served him some food? Like a dinner theater. That would be perfect for you guys. You don't have to worry about being great actors. Ooh, mm, I'm smelling money. And the front of my pants are getting tight. Manjusha, you'll be working the kitchen. If you eat my cooking, the back of your pants get tight. Jimmy, you'll be serving the food to our guests. I want you in formal attire. I usually get better tips the less clothes I wear, but I'll give it a shot. Cliff, Sasha, you'll be playing your usual characters. And Dave, you're gonna fix the microwave so we can start making hot meals again. After that, you'll be working ticket sales. No. Hmm? No, fuck the show. Sorry, guys, but I'm not gonna do all that. No, I don't wanna be here anymore. You guys are the worst people that I've ever met in my life. For six straight months, I did nothing but work hard, and I'm still not even on payroll. Dave, calm down. Oh, shut up, slut. Oh. And there it is. Six months ago, I walked through those doors a good man. A good man with a future ahead of him. I would say man is a stretch. And over that period of time, this anger has arisen in me that I thought was dead a long time ago. Everybody who works on this production turns into a monster. No wonder you people are such fucking twisted freaks. No, we're not. Yeah, I think we're pretty amazing. Oh, you think you're pretty amazing? You are a greedy asshole who likes to wear women's clothing. And, and, and you, Manjusha, you, you're a fucking googly-eyed little troll that everybody thinks is weird. Oh, hello? Oh, it's Goodwill. They want to let you know that there are literally other outfits you can wear. And Cliff? Cliff, 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 Mr. Big Man, Cliff. You think everyone loves you? Nobody even respects you. You are just a prostitute with a camera in the room. When you get back, all your things will be in a trash can. We know you're poor. Stop trying to pretend like you're worth something. I don't know what he's talking about. And you, Jimmy. What did I do? Now, I could pick the low-hanging fruit and roast the child molester you are. Been there, heard it. Yeah, but I honestly just fucking hate your face. Your stupid fucking glasses, your stupid little whiny voice, and those fucking white people lips. You know, you all deserve to burn in hell! Burn in hell, motherfuckers! We need you, Dave! Just do what you did before I worked here. But that's what the last guy said! Goodbye. What are you looking at? I'm only going insane! <laughs> so I told her, Judith, if you keep blowing the garbage bin, you're gonna get a disease. Oh, she's a fucking mess. She's a crack whore, you know. No one can please him like I can please him. Oh my no. God, can you two buzzards just please shut the hell up? Oh, Arlo, come give your Auntie Judith a kiss. Yeah, yeah, I want a kiss too. Then kiss each other. Hello? Hey, Arlo. What the hell do you want? Uh, I want to talk. Can I come over tonight? Why the hell would I let you talk to me, let alone give you my address? You shouldn't even be alive. 
<laughs> I can say the same thing about you, believe me. But there are things we need to discuss. You can discuss this. <clears throat> Sorry, I tried to burp into the phone. Arlo, please, this is important. Oh, fine, but I'm coming to you. 223 Edgewater Lane. All right, everyone, tonight's the big night. In just a few hours, those doors are gonna open and this place is gonna be full of paying customers. We have a special guest tonight. Mayor Channing will be in attendance. He specifically requested beef wellington with lime zest, not lemon. A dish like that will cost over $300. That's almost our entire food budget. Yes, everyone else will be served hot pockets and frosted mini wheats. The microwave is broken. <laughs> Next question. You're all forgetting one thing. How do we call this magic fun house without our star? Uh, leave that up to me. The show might actually be better without them. That's a terrible idea. No, any idea is a good idea when you have none. Most of my products are terrible ideas, but they still make money. Because if you sell anything, it'll get bought. Studies show that assholes like you have too much silverware and not enough places to put it. Introducing Polka Beach, the customizable silverware holder that lets you stab your enemies without serving time. Stab your teacher, stab your girlfriend, stab your neighbor's cat. These people, you got silverware to store. Alrighty, guys, here is your beverage and an order of rum. Excuse me. My son ordered root beer, and this is mostly rum. What were you thinking? He's only nine years old. Well, he seemed a little tense. You need to fix this. All right, clearly you need this more. Excuse me, these dirty meat pastries are undercooked. They're called Hot Pockets. Did you never go to college? If you cook them all the way through, you get third degree burns on your tonsils. Ugh, these people are driving me up the fucking wall. This is too hot. This is too alcohol. I have a beautiful child. I would spit in everyone's food if I could still produce saliva. What the hell? I gave you an order for 20 dirty meat pastries. Why are you only working on one? Each hot pocket takes two minutes to cook, so I put 20 in the microwave and set the microwave at 40 minutes. You just, what? The man's been waiting on his beef wellington. What the hell is this overpriced dirty meat pastry? Here it is, sir. Ready to yum yum. You just did this with lime, not lemon, right? You may or That's right, Mr. Cronus. Good, because he's deathly allergic to lemon. You're about to kill the mayor. What are we gonna do? Hey. Hey. Welcome. Sorry, I didn't have enough money to afford a nice meal, what with the five months of no pay, so I figured tonight we'd have just desserts. My favorite. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out tonight. I'd like to ask you all to silence your phones before the show begins. Young man, you want to silence that before I candy crush your phone and shove the jagged pieces up your ass? <laughs> or I'll have to get time. I'd like to introduce our guest of honor this evening, Mayor Channing. Why does he get beef wellington and you serve us hot pockets? Yeah, I didn't realize we were seated in the asshole section. I promise our show tonight will make up for all of the undercooked food you'll be indigesting. <laughs> and without any further ado... We'll cast some spells and we'll help you grow. The more you learn, the more you'll know at Marvel's Magic Fun House Show. Wait a minute, we came to see Mr. Marble. Yeah, where's Mr. Marble? Wow, that is very interesting. It really um, ties the whole room together. Well, it wasn't hard to find inspiration. I mean, you've taken away every opportunity I have for a future and the five months of death, paradise. You lied to me about my parents being dead so I could continue my show and therefore continue to pay you. Except you didn't pay me. Oh God, here we go. How can you sleep at night? Preferably on my stomach. I smoke a lot of weed. I respected you and your dumbass show because I respect the craft of television. And you kept promising me a paycheck and like an idiot, I waited five months to find out that I wasn't even hired. I sold everything I owned just to eat. Gave up my apartment. I walked into that studio eager to begin a career with you, and now I don't even know who I am anymore. I know who you are. You're just like the rest of those sleaze balls back at the studio. Let's let Arlo continue making himself look like a fool while he searches for two ghosts. And where are you now? Leading an aimless life, drinking yourself to avoid your own demons? That show was my only purpose, Dave. Exactly. You ever considered that we were looking out for more than just our own wallets? 
I mean, we really did care about you, Arlo, and we knew that if we took away the only hope that you had, you'd be miserable. Case in point. Those people back there, they're your real family. They'd be nothing without you. Good morning, boys and girls. You're not Mr. Marble. I went on a picnic and got myself a tan. Boo. Uh, hey there, Mr. Marble. What are all these people doing in the funhouse? Why, they're all here to sit in on our show. Yeah, why don't you come over and sit on my show, you bitch? Sir, sir, please just let me take it back. It's totes no, undercooked. No, I will no, bring no. you another you're, that will just make you squirm. I want this one. Mr. Mayor, please just let me take it back. Well, I'm hungry. Sir, it's a safety concern. You can't take it back if it's in me. He just ate it. What? Maybe he's just bluffing. A lot of people pretend they have allergies for attention. He's very dead. We can't let them know or we'll all go to prison. We only did this to give you a little bit of hope in a world that doesn't understand you, Arlo. <laughs> hope? False hope, maybe. I wasted 22 years of my life, Dave. And with this show, I wasted my money, too. Did you, though? I mean, you're a real source of happiness for kids all over town. I mean, you were an escape for people that understood you, Arlo. And this whole time, you're busy looking for your family when we're right under your nose. You took it all away from us. What am I gonna do, Dave? I've only been conscious for two years and I've already ruined everything for everyone. I just wanna go back to sleep. Hey, Arlo, it's not too late to fix all this. Yes, it is, Dave. We're banned from the airwaves. Magic Funhouse is banned from the airwaves, but we aren't. Were you suggesting we start another show? That's exactly what I'm suggesting. Look, I know you and I have had our differences, but I'm willing to work past this petty bullshit if it means starting a future with you. Why the hell would you want to work with me? Because you have experience and talent Two things that people who have been awake their whole lives still never get. It's the only way I can forgive you for what you've done. Please, give me this last chance at a future. And that's why we lock the door before going to bed. We want to see Mr. Marble! Yeah! yeah! Sounds like everyone's enjoying the show tonight! No, we're not. How are you liking the show so far, Mr. Mayor? Oh, dear God, no. <laughs> We've just killed the mayor. What? what? If these assholes find out we're all going to prison, or worse, they're gonna want refunds, what do we do? You guys get rid of the body, I'll distract everyone with my singing. Oh God, we're going to jail for sure. Everybody look at me. I'm young, I'm thin, I'm 23. <laughs> you are not 23. Finally, this show's hilarious. <laughs> Thank God that's over. Now what do we do about the body? I'm on my way to Hollywood! Could have thrown an empty one. You suck. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to perform here, you fucking chode, so why don't you kiss my ass? Oh yeah? She wants to kiss her ass, boys. <laughs> Always gotta do what a lady asks. Oh, you all need therapy. <laughs> oh, get off me! Fuck her up, yeah. Oh, you're disgusting! <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to agree with the young lady. The human butthole is an extremely unsanitary. No! Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, 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 somebody help! Stop! Stop! I think he's dead! <laughs> no, he's not. Good morning, boys and girls. Oh, it's weird. Run! Fuck! Oh. Thank you. No, wait, wait, Sasha. Don't you remember who I am? I never remember the ethnic ones, I'm sorry. No, it's me, Arlo. We went to school together. Oh my god, it is. I thought you were dead. Uh, for about 30 seconds back in 07, but luckily the power came back on. Anyways, I have a TV show now, and I'm looking for co-stars, and I remember you're a really good singer, so here I am. Are you interested? Oh my god, yes. Anything other than this. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me from two bad situations today. Uh, well, don't feel very special. I don't have any friends. Well, except for that. Anyways, if you're ever in trouble, if you ever need help, I will always be there for you, Sasha. 
That's a promise. Yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Dude, with my education and your experience, I mean, we already know the inner workings. We have the crew to help us circumnavigate the system. Dude, we can do this. Wow. You really might be onto something here. I don't want to take all the credit, but uh, thank you very much. Oh, here we go. We'll have an all staff meeting. You know, fuck it. We'll do it tomorrow. And we'll tell everyone the plan. And dude, I'm sure they'll all be down for a new show. You know, Dave, you really might be as smart as you look. Thank you, thank you. That's not a compliment. Smart people are fucking hideous. <laughs> <laughs> you know something funny, Dave? This whole time, part of me thought you invited me over tonight to, uh... <laughs> <laughs> to what? <laughs> No, to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not an easy person to get along with, Dave. I know it takes a special kind of person to understand me. I'm just happy to have met someone as understanding as you, Dave. Thank you. And I'm thankful to have known you, Arlo. Now, we're gonna need to pitch the show to financers, and they don't take anyone who isn't unionized seriously. Are you in the union, Arlo? Am I? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, I am. So, you're just gonna have to sign over the rights of Magic Fawn House and its studio resources over to me temporarily until I find a financer to help with the new show. You know, Dave, that is a very good idea. Let me go run to the studio right now and I'll just grab all the paperwork. Oh, that's okay. I have it all right here. All you gotta do is sign. You know, this whiskey just goes by so fast. Let me go run and top myself off. Do you want anything from the food room? You're... <coughs> All right, sorry. Come on, answer. Please answer. You've reached Sasha Barbican. Please leave a message after the tone and have a magical afternoon. How the fuck do I turn this Press thing the off? Red dot. I am pressing no, the red dot. Give me... Arlo, I'm in trouble. I need your help. I don't have a home to go to. I'm at Dave's house right now, and I know this sounds crazy, but I think he's trying to kill me. Please, Sasha, this is not a joke. I need your help. Please call me back. How the fuck do I turn this thing off? Friends can be tricky, can't they? <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> Sometimes you can't even trust them to pick up their own phones. Huh. Nope. What the hell is taking so long? I ate all the Hot Pockets. You did what? I couldn't get the microwave open, so I threw it hard. <laughs> but one had touched the floor, so I ate it. I never tasted a more perfect food. I discovered the beauty of the first world. Dear God. Where's the mayor? Cliff's on mayor duty right now. Uh, this actually isn't the weirdest thing I've ever done. Yeah, you, uh, you seem a little tense. Do I? Yeah, yeah, who's that on the phone? Oh, it was no one I... Hey, and you don't have any whiskey. I thought you came in here to get whiskey. You know, I couldn't find where you keep it. Oh, well, I keep it right in the freezer. Let's write him back. I don't see any whiskey. <laughs> the scratch it! About this one? Still no. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you after the show. Alrighty, guys, here is your bag of chips, some crackers, and a bag of fruit snacks. No, this is not what we ordered. Well, our oven's a little busted here at the Magic Fun House. Wait a minute, isn't that Jimmy Russell, the child hustler? I thought I recognized him. He's the daycare diddler. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> Let's do to him what the justice system couldn't. Yeah! You guys want me? 
Come and get me. Yeah! Thank God. We need to get rid of that body now. Yeah, that'd be good. I think he just passed that beef wellington. Hello? Sasha! Oh, thank God. Look, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Oh, my God. What's going on? Are you okay? Sasha, where are you right now? I'm at the studio. I just got laughed at at the dinner theater. Wait, they're doing a dinner theater? Yep. For Magic Fun House? Yep. That would never work. Who'd they get to play me? Mr. Cronus. Yeah, maybe if I got locked in a tanning bed time machine and traveled two decades into the sun. Now listen, I need you to tell- ah! Arlo, answer me. You're fucking crazy! Ah! 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 Oh God, he's stabbing me! He's stabbing me right in the ass! I'm never gonna walk again! <laughs> Sasha, I need you to fire up the cameras now! What for? I'm almost at the studio. Dave's trying to kill me and I need as many witnesses as possible. We need to go live in 60 seconds. Manny, I need you to fire up the camera. Arlo broke it. What about the laptop? Can't we override the feed? Indeed we can. God, why aren't these cameras rolling? What the hell is going on? No time to explain, this is emergency! Shut the fuck up! Here you go, Arlo. Guess what? What? I discovered hot pockets. They're amazing, right? They are. Like when you don't like microwave them all the way? Oh, it's perfect. That. Is this thing live? It is. All right, good. Good morning, boy. Good, good evening, boys and girls. Tonight might very well be my last broadcast. It's been a complete pleasure performing for the Tri Valley community, and Magic Funhouse has Joe always Arlo. been. It all ends right here, right now. Oh, sweet Jesus. I love, be careful. He has murder in his eyes. Sure, too, bitch. I got nothing to lose. Boys and girls, there's a man here at the fun house who wants to kill me. His name is Dave Roland. He's 26 years old. He's 5'10". He looks Amish and he's a... Oh, hey, what are you... Oh, let's finish this! Dave, please don't do this. Look, neither of us have much left, but we can still turn everything around, all right? If I can find any form of success after a 20-year nap, imagine what you and I can accomplish after this little setback. It's not too late to do the right thing. Please put the gun down. I spent a long time trying to be a good man, Arlo. Trying to get rid of the angry human being I used to be, trying to find a successful career in television. I almost had that, man. I almost had that. They told me all I had to do was be kind and work hard. How am I supposed to feel now that I know that's not true? It's not true, man. Have you ever seen me work a hard day? Shut up! Yes, sir! When your hopes were crushed last week, you decided to take everyone else down with you. Now I'm taking you down with me. Now, do me a favor. What's that? Say hi to your parents for me. Oh, no! <laughs> Did we get all that? Next time on Preview Funhouse. Dave so and so is waiting trial for attempted murder of, let's face it, someone who should have been dead a long time ago. We're here to decide the dispute of Dave versus everyone else at TV 30's Magic Funhouse. Your Honor, I plead not guilty by reason of insanity! Man, I could have told you that, man. You guys are very screwed. What? Shut up, I'm trying to think. Here's the plan. Your Honor, we rest our case. We have reached a verdict. No! Come on, everybody. One more magic phone house. Studies show that assholes like you stab your teacher. Assholes like you stab your girlfriend without serving time. Fuck, fuck, fuck your neighbors. Dun, 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 Thank you.